teaspoons to something a little bit different. A new series, if you will. Here at Kai Matthews YouTube channel. Brought to you live by videotape from the Orbital Broadcast Bunker, Britain's first and only airborne subterranean studio that apparently we now have to share with Engage. Hello everyone, I'm Engage. Well, you know, Pat, cost of living crisis and all that. What would really help though is if you and Keith would remember to turn the lights off of a Friday when you leave. But I digress. As our loyal subscribers will know, we here at Kai Mathie's YouTube channel are all about retro video games. And sometimes a retro video game is held in such high regard that the almighty video game gods plant the idea in the heads of a video game developer that that game deserves the remake treatment. Not the remastering treatment, mind. No, that is always the result of video game developers uh, realising they don't have enough cash to reupholster their second Arga in their third property in the nicer part of Kent. Big up the Kent Massive. So young guy and I thought, we like the original, but do we like the remake? Join us now as we try to answer that question. This month we are looking at Medieval, an action-adventure hack-and-slash video game developed by SCE Cambridge Studios and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the original PlayStation back in 1998. That was remade in 2019 by Other Ocean Emeryville and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment for the PlayStation 4. Medieval is set in the medieval kingdom of Galamere and centres around the charlatan protagonist Sir Daniel Fortescue as he makes an attempt to stop antagonist Zarok's invasion of the kingdom while simultaneously redeeming himself. Development of the original started back in 1995 at Millennium Interactive in Cambridge under the working title of Dead Man Dan. Visually, the game is heavily influenced by Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Originally conceived as an arcade-style shooter for PC and the Sega Saturn, Sony's purchase of the Cambridge Studio evolved the game into an original PlayStation title. Look at the lone, 
Fate has given it us. The game received mostly positive reviews and praise from critics upon its release, with praise including its blend of Halloween themed visuals, but was criticised for its controls and cumbersome camera work. Oh, now, did you know? That during the marketing campaign back in uh, 1998, the team were frequently being asked to go to graveyards for photo shoots. These usually went without incident, but then one day a vicar asked them why they were filming on church property. They lied, telling him that they were students filming a documentary on churches. <laughs> Medieval was first released in North America and Europe in October of 1998. The Japanese version, entitled Medieval Yomigata Garumiya no Yusha, was released in June 1999. The character of Fortescue proved unpopular in Japan because they considered the idea of a skeleton being a protagonist as strange. The game was later released with C12 Final Resistance in a two disc pack in May of 2003. It was also released on the PlayStation Network in 2007. Did you know that in 2011 Medieval was ported to Android, although it was only compatible with PlayStation certified devices such as Sony's Xperia Play. <laughs> Back in 1998, the game received positive reviews from critics upon its release. It was mostly praised for its Halloween-influenced atmosphere. Oh, now I get why you chose to do this game first. It's spooky season, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it all makes sense. As well as the atmosphere, reviewers praised the game's sense of humour, even if it was a little dark in places, as well as its unique presentation. But while it took inspiration from other games, not enough innovation was put into it to make it truly unique. Reviewers at the time criticised the disjointed level design and somewhat weak controls, as well as some reviewers claiming that it was a bit too straightforward and the game didn't really offer any kind of challenge. Whilst I've always thought the graphics were fairly on par for an original PlayStation title, some said that they looked inferior to that of Banjo-Kazooie, the N64 game that had come out some months earlier. <coughs> Much like Edge's review at the time. Uh, Edge magazine people that are unknown pals, Tony Mott used to be editor in chief at. Oh, sorry, you, you can cut away, for uh, Medieval does not appear in the book. The thousand and one video games you must play before you die by our good friend Tony Mott, so you can. Scratch that one off your list then, I guess. Medieval is well crafted in some respects, underdeveloped in others. It looks nice, it will make you giggle, and if you like a bit of maze navigation in a very Tim Burton-esque world, whilst accompanied by a very pleasant soundtrack, some might say the game is a bit of a homage to Capcom's Ghosts and Goblins. I say that this is the perfect game for some lazy Sunday retro gaming. It doesn't try to reinvent the action-adventure hack-and-slash wheel, and nor should it. In the nicest possible way, it's a mindless hack-and-slash romp. I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. Run, little man! <laughs> Dalamir is doomed! Only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> the Medieval remake was first announced as a remaster of the original back in 2017, but the following year at the PlayStation Experience it was announced that the game would be a 100% remake. At 2019's PlayStation State of Play event, the digital-only Digital Deluxe Edition was revealed, which includes the Super Armor from Medieval 2, which now increases the gold that Sedan earns, a theme based on the game for the PlayStation 4 user interface, a digital art book, 
a digital graphic novel prequel known as Medieval Fate's Arrow, and a digital music player featuring the game's soundtrack. Then in September 2019, Sony released a demo of Medieval, known as Medieval Short Lived Demo. The demo features an unlockable helmet that can be carried over to the full game. The helmet is based on the Japanese version of the original Medieval, in which Sir Dan wears a helmet by default, and also increases the game's difficulty level. A version of the Short Lived Demo with additional levels was released in December of 2019. The remake of Medieval is dedicated to Zarox voice actor Paul Darrell, who sadly died in June of 2019. Other Ocean Emeryville wished to keep most elements of the original medieval intact unless they felt there was a good reason to change something. This includes the retention of several glitches present in the original medieval, which were considered by the developers to be crucial to the feel of the game. The developers researched music that the original developers would have listened to at the time of developing the original medieval. Level geometry was extracted from the original Medieval and imported into the remake engine to serve as a reference for the placement of level elements. Due to the new game's farther draw distance and wider aspect ratio, new background areas that didn't exist in the original Medieval needed to be created, and additional trees and foliage were added to certain areas. Enemy behaviours left in the source code of the original Medieval but removed from the finished game due to time constraints were restored for the Medieval remake. The Medieval remake received mixed reviews from critics. They certainly weren't as positive as they were with the original release. Of course, the main body of praise was directed at the game's visuals, which were considered to be faithful to the original Medieval, as well as the characters, settings and story of the game. What was heavily criticised though was Medieval's gameplay design, in particular the game's lack of checkpoint mechanics that in 2019 had become something of a stable for any video game to include. Instant death when falling into water was also subject to criticism, as it was felt that the original only had this mechanic because of hardware constraints, so for it still to be present in a PlayStation 4 game in 2019 was a bit much for reviewers to stomach, especially when it seems that the remake had maintained the original's sloppy control system. Not only that, but better graphics with old school controls do not good bedfellows make when it comes to combat. It felt imprecise and after a while just became frustrating. You know, some might say, some might say that the remake is a little too retro for modern audiences. The game's story was just as charming as it was before and the improved visuals added an extra layer of detail and personality to the characters. Music and audio was also improved but much like the original it was a good accompaniment, nothing more. Most if not all reviews when the remake launched seemed to have a very similar summary, that being if you didn't like the original Medieval then you probably won't like the remake either. That didn't stop the game though from being the fifth best selling game on its week of release in the UK. Neither. I was one of those few people that didn't really gel with the game back in 1998 and whilst I did play the demo of the remake it didn't do anything to wow me and make me want to play the whole game. As of filming I'm still hoping that the game might someday end up on PlayStation Plus. Yes I do know that it's on PlayStation Extra and Premium, please don't spend time telling me that in the comments. But what you can do in the comments is let us know what you thought of this video. But if you'd rather not comment then can I humbly ask that you let us know what you thought of this video by clicking the like or the dislike button? I mean hopefully you liked it and maybe if you're not already you'd consider subscribing. It is free after all and that's the best price there is. Before I go I'll leave you with this. Why are hemorrhoids called hemorrhoids instead of asteroids? Cheerio, see you Friday. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think you'll finally see me on Friday. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,